here's a look at my um, CD collection. And it's not all of my CDs, but it's sort of my classic uh, rock type CDs. And I have them in the spinner rack. And like I said, it's not all of them, but it's sort of the cooler ones. Anyways, I thought we'd take a look at them and see how they look. So I'm just going to go through these as quickly as I can. This might be just part one of two parts, see how fast I can get through them. This is a bootleg, obviously. The Beatles, Stars of 63-65. There's the back cover. And we have this Russian CD. I have a bunch of these Russian twofers that I got on eBay several years ago. So this has both the UK help and the um, US version of help, the soundtrack version. Plus some uh, bonus tracks. Let's see how it looks inside. You can see the, there's the, that's the back cover of the original UK version of help. And there's the CD, so it looks pretty cool, don't it? Now here's the regular version of Revolver. This is like an older version, not any of the remastered ones that came later. Magical Mystery Tour. Abbey Road. There's the blue album. And there's the inside with a little booklet. And the track listing. And the Ruddles. the original Riddles album. And then there was this later Riddles album, Archaeology. And both of them are pretty cool. If you're a Beatles fan, I recommend checking out the Riddles. And here's another bootleg, Beatles Sessions. I got this in like 1989 before I even had a CD player from Toasted. There's the track listing. Hopefully it can show up there from the Revolver back cover sessions. And there's a copy of the Beatles White Album way back there. This is an older copy. So I'm gonna put these back and I'm gonna have to go through these a little faster, I think. So. All right, so here we have Wonderwall Music by George Harrison. Um, I think it's 1968 or 69. Let me take a look at the, there's the Apple logo. There's Dark Horse from like 1974. There's this is a live album, uh, live in Japan from like 1990. It's a two CD set. See the whips, the back cover there. Shows the track listing. And Beware of Abco. This is a bootleg consisting of a lot of. Uh, demos and things like that from the All, All Things Must Pass session. Pretty cool album. George Harrison, Eric Clapton, Songs for Patty. Again, this is another bootleg. There's the back cover. John Lennon, uh, Plastic Ono Band, his first album, plus Mind Games. Again, this is one of those Russian CDs that has is a twofer. And if we look on the Side there, there's the cover, and there's the album side. Now here's a uh, interview disc. Here's another one of Bob Dylan. Now here's my uh, anthology volume two. Uh, accidentally broke the uh, backing of it, so in fact I think this is it right here. Or I wonder why it's in that separate one. Anyways, I have Anthology 2 there. But uh, for some reason, I have that one in there. And then we have Beatles Live at the BBC Volume 1. I don't have Volume 2. There's the track listing, but there's Volume 1. Okay, so here's the Paul McCartney section right about George Harrison. 
Here's Paul's first album, McCartney. Oops. And uh, here's Wildlife, the first uh, Wings album. And again, this is one of those uh, Russian albums. Let's see if I can uh, open up the uh, case here to show the inside. There's the inside of it. And we have another twofer. This is an odd twofer because it has Ram plus Wings of, of, Over America, which itself was a, a double or a triple album at the time. So this is a two CD set. And we'll open this up here. Here's Ram. And on the other side, well, I can't do it one handed. I'll pause this and we'll see the inside. And here's the Wings Over America. That's how it looks. All right, so we got Paul McCartney's Band on the Run plus Pipes of Peace. And again, we'll take a look at the inside here. Here's Band on the Run. I'm just going to have to run through these a lot faster if we're ever going to hope to get through these. So there's Tug of War and Back to the Egg, a uh, live album, uh, Tripping the Live Fantastic, show on the back cover here, again that's one of those Russian CDs. And this is Driving Rain, one of his uh, later solo albums. One of my favorites is the uh, Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. I momentarily forgot the title. But uh, he has a lot of good of his later songs. And Memory Almost Full, another of his later albums. This is really good. And this is a, uh, a newspaper, a British newspaper uh, thing. And here's Paul McCartney's new and Good Evening, New York City, a later live album. Okay, so we're done with Paul McCartney's set. So now here's my Rolling Stones albums. There's their, their first one. And again, this is one of those Russian versions. Aftermath from 1966. Again, Russian copy. And how they always say the Rolling Stones you know, volume, whatever. Those are all these Russian versions of the album, but which are never, nonetheless pretty cool because they come with some bonus tracks and stuff. And I got them pretty cheap. There's Satanic Majesty's Request from 1967. Probably my favorite Rolling Stones album. Although it's very psychedelic y. The Greatest Hits Volume 2, Let It Bleed. This is one of those uh, cardboard sleeve ones. I'll open it up here to show the inside. Exile on Main Street. It's a two CD set, I believe. Sticky Fingers. A Best Of. And then way back here, because I have a little extra space, I put the uh, Beatles Anthology one. So it's right there. Here's Anthology one. And now, all right, and now the top bit here, The Who Sings My Generation. Again, this is one of those Russian ones. The Who Sell Out. I got this, I think, from... Uh, Columbia House or BMG when I was getting record club stuff. This, I think, is also a uh, Russian one. Yeah, it always has those back covers on it. This is a Who Greatest Hits type of thing. Who's Better, Who's Best is the name of it. And now we have some of the Kinks. Again, more Russian discs. This is the Village Green Preservation Society, my favorite uh, Kinks album, in a Russian edition. 
something else by the kinks. And uh, Naz 3, which was the final Naz album of the 1960s, uh, Todd Rundgren's group. I'm a big Todd Rundgren fan, although I don't have any of his classic albums on CD. And here's the Beatles Anthology 3. So now we'll move over to the next section. You know, uh, one thing I didn't show in my when I was showing the George Harrison uh, records was I have some of the um, box sets separate over here because they don't fit in that spinner rack. So this is the All Things Must Pass a special edition box set from 2001, which has liner notes by George Harrison and is overall pretty awesome. Concert for Bangladesh. Again, it comes in one of these box things, if I can get it open. Well, it's kind of hard to do one-handed, so take my word for it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I got this, uh, both of these at a thrift store really cheap one time. Pink Floyd's The Wall. This is like an older copy from way back in the day. And is there anybody out there? The uh, live, um, live concert of The Wall. And some Bob Dylan box sets. I have a bunch of the bootleg series versions, uh, uh, bootleg series box sets, sort of scattered across the spinner rack so they would fit in the uh, thing. This is uh, Biograph, which was the first box set of his, which had mostly a collection of uh, it was sort of a greatest hits plus, you know, uh, various random um, hard to get uh, songs. I think I mainly wanted it for. Uh, Let's see, Can You Please Crawl Out Your Window, which was a single that wasn't successful from the 60s, which isn't on many albums. And here's the Bootleg Series Volume 1 through 3, one of, you know, one, one of his great albums as far as I'm concerned, especially the first disc, which is a lot of his early unreleased stuff. Now we'll go back to the spinner. And speaking of Bob Dylan, here's uh, the Free Will and Bob Dylan, his second album. Times they are changing. From early 64. Another side of Bob Dylan from 64. Again, I think I got these from Columbia House back in the day. Uh, Highway 61 Revisited. Blonde on Blonde. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. So basically all his like 60s stuff except for his first album. John Wesley Harding. This is in a nice uh, little cardboard sleeve and then we have new morning for 1970 and then uh again this is one of my favorites of uh, bob dylan's work uh live 1964 the bootleg series volume six it's a halloween 1964 concert and then we go up from there actually i have more bob dylan behind these here so we have blood on the tracks is back there desire like 1975 and some of his later stuff, like Time Out of Mind, Love and Theft, and the Whitmark dem demos was also part of the bootleg series. Wasn't that crazy about that album? But uh, anyways, in front of that, we have The Chirping Crickets, which is Buddy Holly's first album, and then his first solo album, Buddy Holly. There's the back cover there. Elvis's Golden Records. His first uh, Greatest Hits album, and I think the first Greatest Hits album in the history of rock and roll, actually. And Anne Margaret. And one of these has a duet with uh, Elvis on it. You're the Boss, I think is the name of the song. And the best of Peter, Paul, and Mary. Now I'm going to have to do the rest of these in a different video, because I'm running out of time in this one. So we'll just take a quick... As we end this video, we'll just take a quick spin so you can see a preview of what's going to be coming up. As, as the video ends and I run out of time.